let's continue part two of resilience and prepping. And uh, this is again, uh, I think I'm actually going to make it in short videos because whenever I do these very extensive and long videos, my computer has this, it's, it's getting, the fan is getting very heated again with the, the, the circumstances that we are in and adapting to the circumstances that we are in. So where I kind of took off was this, that uh, those of you who have the whole philosopher book and you have read it, I suggest you reread it and then you look into, okay, how did I describe the situations of what was to come? What kind of visuals did I get, so to speak, when we talked about what the, the New Stellar Earth humans, the NSEH, as well as the solar system nations, the, the, that is the, the, the SSN, which are what we could call humanities, enhanced humans from the future, that have come back and have taken part into different projects uh, over the course of our history. And at some point I could explain this more, I could give it a lot of information but um, uh, out there or in a book or whatever, but I'm also about this, yeah, I don't want to give them more energy than necessary because they are the main architects of what's going on in the Northern Hemisphere right now to try and avoid the futures they actually came from. So we have shifted the modality of what we could call the old world or a settler a hijacker agenda with the regress races into a short period of time where we were battling what we could call what remained uh, of the uh, Atlantean project and what came from there that were also part of the, the military projects that began in the 1950s that were a uh, an extension of what unfolded uh, via First World War and Second World War and led into the, the reality we had in the 50s and the races that were here in the 50s and their projects. We are all kind of working through that one and the solar system nations, the SSN and the, the new stellar Earth humanoids that are, or Earth humans, they are technically humanoids in human form. They are, they are both of them are races from the future that have come back and are trying to do whatever they can to extend our solar system and the continuation of our solar system. And this is this is the main theme that you are to see this within. And I write about this in the whole philosophy book. And also the jurisdictions that are being made, the division of humanity is also in the whole philosophy book. And this is background information. And uh, I refer to some of it in the, the free whole project material on my Google site, where you can do the short updates on the reality programs and just I'm just giving highlights. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is kind of the news I want to give. I don't want to make a lot of explanation. I don't want to unroll the, the content because this is where you begin to contemplate on the information and you begin to, to work with the information as you would do the normal news, so to speak, where you look in and say, okay, which faction is talking about this? What's the point of this? And uh, what, what's the energies? And is this something that I should be concerned about? Does it affect me in any ways or forms? And should this be part of my triage or my assessment of what I need to do? And that's how I live. I'm not anxious about it. I'm not... Uh, thinking in catastrophes. I'm not thinking about, oh yeah, the world will end tomorrow because I know it won't. But I am seeing the trends and the dynamics and I'm operating, I'm doing my progression work within these trends and dynamics. And this is part of the, the, the two courses, the one I've already made in the whole transition courses, the Psychias Energy that is completed. I'm almost completing the Psychias processes where I operate with how we are actually learning to be in process continuously and developing ourselves via these processes and then there will be the third one which I am um, I'm pretty sure is going to be about some sort of self-healing and and self-work in some way or form I'm, I'm the course is not ready yet it's in my brain but it has not uh, materialized itself I know where I'm going with it but the information is not ready yet because these levels of information are also part of the future that we are heading towards, the transition itself. So this is what you can say, it's kind of information that is hidden uh, in the, the trends and the dynamics and our system itself. It's kind of information layers that will surface all depending on what type of 
um, reality dynamics we're heading towards. And that's where the NSEH and the Pegasus host field, as well as the solar system nations and what they are doing with the, the huge upgrade of humanity, their programs will play a part in which past, our past, present and future dynamic uh, of the holographic grids of our reality field as we enter into the original density levels of the universal settings that we are part of, that will determine and then kind of okay, what kind of teaching am I going to give there? And this is, you can say my teachings and what I offer are circumstantial. They are tailored for the situation that we're in. And you can say, well, does that then mean that, that these courses are outdated or whatever? Well, some of them will be, some of them won't be. I'm trying very hard to make courses that are uh, as long lived as possible, that are what we could call psychological tools from where you can learn to do this, this um, assessment and viewing yourself, this triage, this really looking at past, present and future, and then determine what's the right move for you to do and how do I get you there? So this is when, when you kind of look at my material and what I've been doing here on YouTube and then uh, last month, in the beginning of last month, I got a huge pushback. Let's just call that one. Those of you who are doing the work, you will know I mean something differently, but let's just use an amicable language here. So so that kind of, that got me all cut off and I just said, okay, I back out, I'm backing out for nine weeks. And then at the end of the month, and I worked my way through of what came my way and the challenges that came with that one uh, from the past because of the energies that were present in the beginning of August. Well, then again, as I operate in past, present and future, that alters my perception of reality. That alters the way I live. That alters my, um, it's kind of what you call my local relative reality, which I explain both in the whole completed class, class one and two, as well as in the whole philosophy book. And this is part of the work for those of us who have the higher order awareness. We know that the inner reality changes as we change. It changes as outer reality changes. So this is again, as I talked about years ago, that as we are moving further and further into the solar transition, and we're moving to the correct type of energy that years ago were, were, we were pushed into the artificial fourth dimension and into the artificial of the, the settlers of the old world order and they were trying to push us into a quote unquote new earth in the artificial fifth dimension with the military projects that stem back to Atlantis and their last attempt to revive what they had got going here which were part of the stellar activation cycle and that was completed and the work was completed there. Well then the inner environment changes again unless you're stuck on these timelines and have been drawn into their jurisdiction, well, then it will continue for you. But this is part of our progression process that we are to work our way out of these jurisdictions. If we are somewhere we don't belong, then we have to change our vibration. We have to change our consciousness structure. We have to change our consciousness units. Uh, AKA our genetic structure. We have to change who and what we are so that we can get into a jurisdiction that is more in alignment with where we actually want to be. And the dynamics to do that is so, so, so more than just the spiritual teaching system. It is so, so, so more than just the whole new earth uh, uh, crystalline, serum B crystalline, fifth dimensional teachings that goes with the quantum fields and inserting symbols and doing whatever uh, that were part of the, the stellar activation cycle. I don't know where they are now because I'm not looking it up. And it is so, so more than what people think. And that is why... I'm doing different sequences in the whole academy where I talked about contemplation and I kind of deconstructed some of the old spiritual belief systems. So you kind of got that deconstruction out there in public. Then I continued that work uh, in the, the, the whole integration class five, the extractions of the whole integration class five that is kind of giving more background information that were not possible for me to give out on YouTube. And then I also created the whole integration class six where I continue with working with some of the more what we call esoteric or deeper levels of the old spiritual or new age teaching system and now in the whole club I'm finalizing that with a video on kind of classification of the 
the inner work, where these different 100-year-old teaching systems, where they actually belong on the spectrum of knowledge. So, and you may say, oh, Randy, it's so confusing. Why can't you just put it on one channel? Because each channel has its own energy. Each thing belongs in its own box. And this is, again, a relative reality. It can't be just all over the place. It's not a kind of... a a flowing stream of knowledge. It's different patterns, different ages, different energies that links up to different timelines that have their own past, present and future. And the ones that are not viable, I'm doing whatever I can to deconstruct and decompose and get rid of so that they are not affecting me anymore. And in that process, handing you over some of this knowledge so that you understand this is a dynamic you actually should take to heart if you want to do what we would call the whole version of the progression and activation work. So, and I know it's confusing for many of you. And many of you are writing, well, should I do this? Should I do that? And the whole integration class four, uh, I've taken down the whole integration class one, two, three, and four, because that was all about the artificial fourth dimension. And the whole integration class fifth, five was all about the really negative uh, outcome of the military projects and what that led to. And I've taken that down because I don't want to give it more energy. And some of you that were not quick enough, you kind of get, oh, that's so I wanted to get these, but then I also say, well, that information that were in these classes were the complete alien agenda. And those of you who were to do this work at that point where we were working away out of the artificial fourth dimension and out of the artificial fifth dimension, that information were relevant for you there. But we're done with that one now because we are completing 2021. The jurisdictions have been made. We have got the, the majority of the human population has got, you know what I'm going to say here, and this has altered reality. So things are changing. It is changing all the time. And I know many of you are saying, well, I can't put that effort into this work. I can't live like that. I can't. I got my job. I got my family. I got my normal base program setting. I can't focus on this 24-7. And again, this is a choice you are making where you are to choose in between the chairs you're in what, what you can see is possible for you to do. And I'm discussing some of this as well in the whole club cycle one and then it goes into cycle two and onward and so forth. So where we are now is that I am leaving the alien agenda. I'm putting a little bit of the, the program updates in the freehold project material as long as it's necessary. And that is linked to the solar system nations, it's linked to the new stellar Earth humans or humanoids because they are now taking control of our reality, hence it makes sense to talk about this. But that's the northern hemisphere. Then you've got the rest of the world and what's going on there with the different factions. And I'm not going to give them my energy by focusing on it due to the low participation. But I am part of the Northern Hemisphere and therefore it's relevant for me what they are doing up here and what that means for our progression work and what that, what that means to us with the collective timelines that are going uh, on out there while we are doing our work in here, so to speak, with our own personal timelines and our own progression journey. And this is again where you kind of, those of you who did the Pillar Project and understood the dynamics of the Pillar Project, there is the one seven pillar where you learn all about yourself and your own energy system and who and what you are. Then you go into the two eight pillar when you learn about the root races and the different uh, circumstances, the racial lineages and what you're part of and how to develop the racial grids and onward and so forth. And then you go into the three nine where you really begin to expand into the global environment, which is what we're cleaning up now in the three nine uh, activation cycle that we are, that will end in 2025. This is explained in the whole philosophy book, as well as in the new grand cycle transition course one and two. So I made the explanations about that in the course material. And even though I would love to give as much information out here for free, it will not make sense because it has to be studied. It has to be something that you embark on as a choice of life. And I keep saying that. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are giving you a lot of different types of information. And if you resonate with all of that, that is your your way to go around this. If, if you don't have the time for it and you just 
kind of surfacing through journey, sojourning through this, scratching the surface, and that suffices for you. Well, that's part of what, what you are here to do. That's part of your progression work. And maybe later on, you feel more inclined to go deeper and study this. But as with all studies, and there are the general level, and then there's the specialization, and the whole teachings are a specialization. This is where we specialize in the higher awareness structure. This is where we specialize in how to expand our consciousness structure. This is where we work scientifically with the study of the expansion of the human awareness. This is where we work scientifically with what history has taught us, what the others that have done it before us, what they came up with. This is how we approach the different sciences of the expanded awareness and what the different people that were working in the same way 100 years ago, what they came up with, the esoteric societies, the theosophical societies. They were working scientifically as well within a 100 year ago dynamic and what was there. Similarly, as sciences were coming up with their electromagnetic forces and what was coming up there and onward and so forth. So this is a repeat. There is this 100 year cycle that keeps repeating itself until we kind of nail it, until we really get it. And it dates back to the events that happened as far back as the timeline event, but also the choices we made after that, where you can see the triage, the, the strategies, what we made of assessment at the time, defined the future of all of the 12 universal lineages within our system and it has led to where we are now and we are reaching closer and closer to where these hundred year cycles becomes more and more prominent again within our reality field and that's because of there are specific dynamics that goes with the thousand year cycles that goes with the hundred thousand year cycles and onward and so forth and the completion of the timeline event so there are certain things that demands a new way of being human. And this is where the whole sciences come in and are immensely different from any other spiritual teaching system, from any other things that is out there. And remember, I've studied Buddhism. I studied Christianity. I studied Hinduism a long time ago. I forgot most of it, but because it's not relevant for me anymore. But I studied it. I have studied the Egyptian mythology. I have studied the, the Sumerian mythology. I have studied all text you can you can dig up on the internet on spirituality i've studied the Bailey material i've studied to some degree the Steiner material i studied the anibasant material i'll study the cd lead bearer material and onward and so forth to see where and what do people know what where they're working with and all finding this unsatisfactory but this is what what well, you can say the, the difference between the way I'm going around this is I'm dead serious about it. this is a scientific study. When you embark on the whole academy courses, this this is university level within the scope of spirituality. And and if I could have been allowed to call it the, the whole university, I would have done so, but I felt that was a little bit over the top. So hence I chose the word academy. So for those of you who are, you know by certainty that you have lived before, you know by certainty this is not just something that you were doing for your entertainment, it's not just entertainment value or kind of uh, what we call cocktail party information level where you can say, oh, I'm doing astrology and you have a fun talk about that, or I'm doing spirit guides and you have a fun talk about that. But you're actually going in and completely understand what are spirit guides? Where do they come from? Where do they belong? What type of energy do they they put into your field? How are you going to operate with that type of energy? What can you use them for? Should you at all use them? Where do they originate from? And where on the past, present and future timeline of your human evolution do they come in? What do they bear with them and onward and so forth? So this is, this is where once you choose to do the whole academy courses and once you embark on that journey, it is something that is as serious for you as if you were studying mathematics at the university. This is something that you can actively use in your life, but also in whatever life that comes hereafter, so to speak. 
And as always, there are many, many uh, uh, propositions out there. There are many different offers. There are many different paths that you can take. But for those of you who have chosen to do the whole uh, courses, you got a little bit thrown off where I entered into the alien agenda, the artificial fourth dimension in the whole integration class one, two, three, and four. You got a little bit stumped there. And to many of you, you did the whole integration class five and it all became very, very dark because that was the future of the, the military projects. And the SSN and the NSEH are trying to undo that one, which is why we have shifted and things are different now. But now we are again working with there are different jurisdictions and your energy system and your consciousness structure, which is not embedded into your current human mind yet, but it's part of your energy system, will define which jurisdiction that is going on and actively operating beyond your base program awareness. And this is determining your future in this or in other systems. This is determining the level of, of energy you have on a daily basis. This is determining what you're being in what you will be able to do inside our reality as the jurisdictions will come more and more prominent. We are seeing that already out there. We are seeing that with the closing of the borders. We are seeing that with the attempts to build wars between countries to avoid migration. We are seeing that with the closing down of the different gates in the old world uh, set up in Egypt as well as in Mesopotamia and beyond. We are seeing that in the changes of the world, these are the jurisdictions that are being implemented and if you're just seeing it from the base program level that is fine but there is so much more to it there is so much more behind that one and that is where those of us who are continuously doing this work, we are understanding that being human is not just about operating uh, on one level of awareness, it's about operating on as many levels of awareness as possible to really be able to make the right choices so that at least we do have to some degree, some choice and some control of where and what is going on in our life and not just physically speaking, but also emotionally speaking, mentally speaking, and the higher levels of our energy system and that is what the whole academy courses are all about it is about resilience it is about giving you the ability to make strategies and to assess in the correct manner according to what's going on inside and outside not as much outside because it's kind of very simple live minimalistic put your life in order put it in a way that that are already explained in the free whole project material but it's what's going on on the inside that will then be the next challenge for those of us who are continuing our human evolutions, whether it's in this system or in another system. These are the skills we need. That is the expanded psychological resilience for what is coming our way. And what is happening on our planet is a physical manifestation, as always, of what is happening on the inside. It might change form. It might be in a more simplified version but it is an expression of things that have already been brewing on other levels of our reality and if you're able to catch these brews before they manifest you are able to really make the choices at the right time with the right window of opportunity to shift timelines so that you can literally jump between timelines to get through whatever will come our way and there's no doubt to to cycle back to in the beginning if a salt a, a salt a solar storm that that has already been brewing much much earlier on the other sides of reality that is a physical effect of something that has happened in other dimensions earlier before it enter into our reality field so if you are kind of on top with that one then you will you will know it will come some way or another and it might not even present itself because of the alterations that the SSN and the NSEH are able to do via the host fields and via these new reality program updates but it will still have an effect on the human biological system because they might even they might be able to cloak it in some kind of program setting that makes it um, impossible for us to notice it via different forms of mind altering technologies but it's definitely happening and that affects our physical form so we're having this program running in our brain where we're seeing a certain level of reality but we are not seeing what's going on underneath. And this is again where you need the double lens to be able to detect this. So that 
as we when we talk about the prepper um, communities, they're all about physical survival. And these skills, the psychological resilience and the double awareness are part of the survival skills as well. But it is a survival that goes beyond this system or it takes you to the point where you actually uh, uh, say that this is just how it is and this is where you will go down with the ship that is absolutely a valid choice as well so <clears throat> for those of you who got a little bit confused with where are you to continue my material why am i certainly taking a detour into the older spiritual systems that's because we are done with the artificial fourth dimension we are done with the artificial fifth dimension or at least i am those of you who are still stuck there you you will work your way through in whatever ways and forms you can and i am very sorry that you didn't get to participate in the, in the teachings while i had them out there there were reasons for that and to the reason why I'm not pushing it there and keeping it there and still giving you that information is because as I work my way through the artificial fourth and the artificial fifth dimension connected to our system, I cleared my timelines, I cleared my type of genetics that would connect me to these realities, which is why I can't go back, I can't access them again, and I don't want to access them again. I really don't want it. These are some of the worst times of my life working my way through the artificial fourth and artificial fifth dimension. And I don't want to teach this. I don't want to have it out there. I don't want to share this with anyone. I don't want to be where you should focus your energy. Um, and as always, for those of you who are working your way through and you are part of the whole academy and you are doing the online courses, you can always work with me in the inner work sessions uh, on a personalized level where we can make some kind of assessment plan for you in what are you to do. But there are technically, when we talk about the different factions that are still having their claw in different templates on our reality and they see it as their possession, it is not an easy task. It is definitely not an easy task to get out of these old contracts. And I do mention a bit about these ancient contracts in the whole philosophy book and you can read about it there. And yes, I am sorry, it was all explained in the whole integration class four but I would say in a manner that if you do come to me in a whole session and it does appear that you have the capacity to take the fight and do the work that needs to be done to get out of these contracts, we can probably make a personal arrangement of you buying these courses individually if it is allowed via the faction that's controlling your jurisdiction, let me put it that way, because I'm not going to give you information that would put me in harm's way. I'm going to protect what is important for the majority of us that are doing the progression work, and that is to get us back to the solar system races, not the SSN, but our version of it, those of us who came to this solar system before the timeline event and that have been part of this solar system under the ancient ones that are trying to do our best to return to the holographic metaverse and none of the regressed, none of the fallen ones, none of the digressed ones, none of the ones that are going to the parallel realities of the artificial fourth and artificial fifth dimension are going to enter the holographic metaverse. They have absolutely no interest in going there Hence, there's no point in me focusing more on these levels of reality other than what would be in a face-to-face -face, uh, personal work uh, with those of you who are fighting your way out that goes back to the original solar system that needs this uh, type of teachings to get out, uh, if you at all do so, because the new grand cycle is chewing away many of these levels of the, 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 uh, the planetary network as well as the racial grids uh, over the course of the next nine years, then that will be completely uh, pulled away from our template level and here, therefore no need to work with that either. So this is why it shifts because things are being chewed away by the new grand cycle and therefore are no longer accessible for us. I talk about that in the whole philosophy book and I talk about that in the new grand cycle uh, transition course one and two. So that is why I'm not focusing on it anymore. Secondly, our solar system is moving to the solar transition dynamics through the different belts of reality, which changes the past, present and future connections that those of us who have double awareness are able to see 
begin work with. And we are, those of us who are doing the transition, are to understand these dynamics and how we work with this in the best way possible so that we are on top of the challenges that will come and are ahead of us. And that's why I'm focusing on the solar transition now and not on the past. But if you do have connections to this, if there is some personal work that you need to do, then this is something we can work with in the whole sessions. But again, if your jurisdiction and your factions that are owning your template are not interested in you doing that work, it will not have your interest. And if you try to do it anyway, and you come to me with it, we will both learn very quickly that that's a complete no-go and you will understand exactly why if you attempt to do so. So there are certain things we can do now and there are certain things that are impossible for us to do now because things are being chewed away and because whatever's left want to keep keep very close what they own and what they have and they are trying very very hard to do the last piece of survival to figure out how they can get out of this system and by that are not very willing to share let's put it that way they have not prepped correctly so to speak they had put their faith in different factions that were here that are now gone so with that a little bit of explanation of what is actually going on on this 7 16 21 day uh, 7th of september uh, i have here put out the reasons why i'm shifting so that you understand that and again as i said the theme of september is to get up and get going those of you who got lost in the beginning of this year those of you who kind of as you you went into the whole integration classes you kind of got lost and all of that and you thought well is that where we're going i'm here by saying i've shifted I've shifted out of that. We are not working on that anymore. I am working in a different direction that will put us back on track where I technically began in 2012 and 13 and 14 and closing that one up. And then we're moving into the solar transition dynamics. And I hope that is very clear for you. And those of you who've been a little bit confused about that, of course, you are ready to write. Uh, you are welcome to, to write me an email to see uh, uh, kind of where you are to continue the whole academy classes and what would be the right move for you to do from here on as in in terms of the, the, the classes and uh, I can only recommend you that you continue you, if you have not completed the whole basic ideas or the whole psychology classes you do that then you move into the whole transition classes it's a lot of new information has nothing to do with what I'm already giving there I'm continuing the building work please join the whole club. It is open for all. I'm giving information there that is also important, but that doesn't fit into the class material, but are kind of similar as in, this is kind of what are some of the things that needs to be closed off that we need to know. And then there's other dynamics that needs to be put into some kind of, of uh, lecture, where, which I will elaborate on in the whole uh, club videos. And then there are the short updates of the NSEH and the SSN going on in the Freehold uh, Project Google site, the free material where I can get that one. That's all the energy I'm going to give them, but it's there and it's there because they are pushing me to do so. So I'm just putting it in and it makes sense. It's kind of when the weather changes and uh, when we are having changes in the outer reality, we uh, we accommodate or we adjust to that. So that kind of makes sense as long as I'm going to do that because I'm not going to do that forever either. And then we will move into the solar transition dynamics for those of us who are have our have put our mind to that we will do the solar transition and try to the very best of our abilities to regain our original consciousness structure which we used to have as a solar uh, system race that were and the way I put this the solar system race are technically what most out there call the Christ consciousness but it's not related to the fifth dimension I am pushing us into the sixth 
dimension again so you understand some of the goals of the whole project and where i differ from most of what is out there and to be able to get to the sixth dimension you have to be much more professional uh, and specialized in the way you work with your upgrading of your uh, your consciousness structure and your energy system and that demands the higher order sciences that goes beyond the fourth and the fifth dimension that's part of the sixth dimension so and you need that to be able to do the transition to the holographic metaverse so this is again as i talked about some of the goals of the whole project and just to sum it up uh, in these two short videos so those of you who kind of got a little bit uh, lost uh, in all of the, the, the merry-go-round ups and downs the last two years, I can only recommend you get back on board, you get up and you get going. Uh, if you feel that this is for you and you kind of got confused with why I took this humongous detour, and I did it because it was important and it was necessary to clear out, first and foremost, the timelines that are connected to in the artificial fourth and fifth dimension, but also taking down the technologies that were link to the original pillar project that were and had been taken over by the hijackers and inserted into uh, keep their timelines functional and by me accessing my levels of that reality and what they had of me in these realities and taking that down i have done my part to deconstruct whatever portion of my field that were fueling these two dimensions and as that was done for me i had no longer access to these realities and i'm not going to recreate an access to these realities they are by for me uh, completely decomposed and uh, destroyed deconstructed but for those of you who are still there uh, in the whole sessions uh, that you can do with me on the inner work and once I get the template work courses uh, up and running as well as the the, the following uh, sessions that will go with that level then you will have the equipment to deal with that on your own and I can advise you without being uh, implement it into your timelines and whatever you are linked up to. I will kind of be a consultant on your energy work and we can discuss what you need to do as a type of advice or as a type of coach, but I'm not getting involved in it as I have uh, been uh, in the way I was doing the work with people uh, earlier on. If you do choose to do the whole uh, advice and support sessions, of course, that's within the base program and I'm still here. So there I will still, to some degree, uh, give a different type of coaching. So again, this is why I call it sessions and not just coaching, because some level it's coaching and advising, other levels it is what we call more kind of support and therapeutic kind of work, and other levels, again, it's just kind of good recommendations of what can you do of solutions to whatever is in front of you. So again, uh, creating a spectrum of different ways of working with people. You will also notice that I have set the price a little bit down because I know many of you out there are struggling. The courses are not tremendously expensive. I put the cost of these down as well so that it is, since I'm not giving a lot of information out for free, you can... It, prioritize to some degree to do the courses and do them uh, in the pace that is suitable for you. So with that one saying, we are uh, uh, quickly uh, accessing the, the energies of the September equinox. And from that one, we will enter into winter. So this is also where we could say whatever we could have achieved this year, this month is technically the last month where you do the great choices uh, of uh, what you need to do and how you want to continue into 2022. Because at, as we always know, after the, the, the autumn equinox and we're going into the winter solstice, this is where we dive into what we could call the, the, the real chaos and entropy level of the year, so to speak. It is kind of you have the first three months, which are creational 
normal. Then you have uh, three months there are kind of where you put it into the architecture. And then you have three months where you put it into manifestation. And then you have three months where you get the end result and the chaos and the polarity of it. And that's where we're heading. So again, for those of you who have creational projects, for those of you who are to make choices about how you're going to continue your transitioning process, this is the month to do so. And after that, it will, after the equinox, we will begin to descend into the entropy and chaos uh, levels of the year. And that will definitely uh, change the possibility of what we can do. So with that one said, I think I for now have covered a little bit about the goals of uh, the, the the whole academy uh, courses and the whole project, which I said I would do. And uh, with that one out there, calling it uh, <laughs> resilience and prepping, it, it is also fitting when we talk about the higher levels of reality, the whole academy classes are to be seen as a type of prepping. They are to be seen as a kind of type of building psychological higher awareness, resilience to the futures that we are heading into that are, uh, it, I know there are different uh, aspects of it. There are different timelines and there are different futures due to the relative reality. But those of us who date far back to the ancient civilizations that used to house the solar system, we have our own challenges to face. And that is where I am coming in and giving you the tools to complete your cycle here and get to the, the next cycle that we are supposed to head into following the original evolutionary cycles of our lineages. Thank you.